Greetings all, Professor Gomes here. I'm actually recording this video on Friday the 31st. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I realize, of course, this is not till Monday the 3rd, but I wanted to give you a, um, a head start. It's obviously a lot of work to accomplish over the two weeks, so I thought I would actually publish this and give you a head start. You may want to start early. It's there for you if you... Um, want to get a head start. First thing is that when you log on now, you will not see that welcoming page. You'll go right to the modules. The modules are where the assignments and all the resources exist. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to go into what's called student view. So what I'm showing you now is exactly what you'll be seeing. First thing here is our current week here, one, three through one, seven. To open this up, I'm just clicking on the the word so I can actually use this little drop down arrow either one now what I've done is to roll out the entire week rather than Monday rolling out Monday's assignment and Tuesday and Wednesday and so forth I really don't know your work schedule or your life schedule for that matter you may have more time on a Monday or a Tuesday or a Wednesday so to accommodate you I've rolled out the entire week off to the right here you see some reminders about the office hour meeting exam one being Friday the second office I was meeting the next Friday the 14th and exam number two. So let me just click on the year uh, very first assignment, Monday the 3rd. As I click on that, pretty much the way this first day is set up is the way that all the days will be set up. By that I mean I start out with a video. We're starting out with section with chapter one, section one, one is a video. All right, it's about 17 minutes long. Please avail yourself. I call, I refer to this gentleman as being Big Al. He has a very nice way of explaining things. All right, he's just not talking about it. He's showing you how to actually accomplish a task. And once you watch the video, I actually, before I actually do what's called a voiceover. Now, a voiceover to a PowerPoint section 1-1. One, one. Now, if we were in class, a face-to-face -face class, I would start my PowerPoint and I would walk you through it. So this is replicating what I would do in class. All right, a voiceover. Very important. Now I would actually download the PowerPoint. All right, download it to your hard drive. I'm not saying you gotta print out all the slides, but it, it'd be helpful. And I'll talk about it in a moment if you don't have Microsoft Office because you're a student at Massasoit, it is a free download and I'll show you that link. After section one one, we move on to obviously section one two. Once again, is another video, and I refer to him as being this guy as being Big Al. And once again, I do a voiceover for the PowerPoint for section one two. All right, and there's a link to actually download it to your hard drive. Now, I'm asking you here to do your first homework assignment, which is obviously from sections um, one one and one two, and there's a link to download it to your hard drive. And notice what I'm saying here. Homework is neither collected nor graded. All right. And you always say, well, why? As college students, I mean, if you haven't figured out by now that homework is important, uh, not much I can do for you. But I'm not going to collect it, nor will I grade it. Whether you're, you're doing it, it will be fairly obvious to me after the first exam. Now, I have some directions here. It says, please don't watch the video that's below here until you completed this assignment. All right, what I actually do for you right, on the homework assignments on the very last page, since they're all multiple choice, I have all the answers. But rather than just give you the answers, I do a voiceover. I actually walk you through how the correct answer was derived. Super, super important. But please don't watch the video until you've actually done the assignment. Wouldn't make much sense. All right, once we're done with chapter one, well, chapter two is up. Same situation. I start out with a video. And then I do a voiceover of the PowerPoint. That constitutes just one day. What we're trying to do here, if you've taken an intercession course before, you realize that what we're doing in two weeks, 10 days, is an entire course that would normally take 14 weeks. So it's, it's all that. All right. So let me um, go back to my home page here. And the same thing happens in week two, but I haven't got that published just yet. What I do is a lot of resources here. The very first one, let me just go skip over this for a moment, is I have readings. All right? Your textbook is free. It's an OER textbook, open-ed resource. I don't deal a lot with the textbook, but 
It's a great resource if you're having some difficulty in one particular section. It's a good idea to actually log on to this and, you know, in fact, what happens here is when you click on it, it actually goes right to the uh, open queue page and there is the text from the textbook. All right, so it's pretty straightforward. Like I said, I don't spend a lot of time in a textbook, but I do provide you with all of the readings that I've got published here is uh, chapters one all the way through chapter four, even though our first exam stops after four, two and a Four, three picks up at the second week. I've got a link here with all my course videos. If you want to just be able to pick on one video instead of trying to find out where it is in which particular day, all of them are listed um, right here, all the course videos. Um, there's my welcome getting started. You already looked through this. Um, as I look at as I look at the stats, everyone, pretty much everyone has logged in at least once. I think there's only one person that hasn't. And as I look at the time that you spend in, because Canvas allows me to see when you last logged in, and it gives me the amount of time that you spent in Canvas, so I can kind of see behind the curtain, so to speak. I've seen some people who have spent as much as an hour, hour and ten minutes, and then some people who have spent like three minutes, which... I don't get that, how you only spent three minutes. I mean, this has all been published now for a couple of weeks, but you know, that's um, that's what it is. I mean, I can, I can see what's going on. I know how long you've logged in, when you logged in. Make sure you get your calculator. There's no, there's no way you're going to be successful in this course without a TI, TI meaning Texas Instrument, a graphing calculator. I talk about not that five dollar calculator that you can get that your grandmother has, right? It's a graphing calculator, TI. You can get one from the library. And I've already talked about how you make an appointment, twenty bucks. It's imperative that you get that. All right. Um, let me just click on these are office hours meetings here. The first one is, is coming Friday, well, actually the seventh. I've been getting, I get emails when I do this intercession course, and people are saying, you know, gee, I can't log in to the, I'm working, whatever. Well, it's not mandatory, all right? If you're available and you have questions, I'm doing it at 10 o'clock each Friday. Your exam opens up at noon time those two Fridays. And what I'm going to do is I'll entertain whoever's on and any questions that you may have that you haven't asked prior to that via an email, I'll just call up the particular the uh, pertinent sheet and i'll go through it but it's not a mandatory because it's an online course and i'm not sure you're available what i will do however is i will record these zoom meetings and they'll be posted so it'll be posted let's say by about 11 30 on a friday you've got from 12 o'clock that friday until the 12 o'clock the following day the saturday to complete it all right now, it's, here's a link to your Zoom meeting. Hopefully, if you've taken online courses before, you have the Zoom client already on your machine. And if, well, you need that. But another way of logging in is simply to click on the Zoom link here. And the first Friday the 7th, just click on, jo on join, excuse me, and you'll be um, part of our meeting. All right, so hopefully Zoom is not going to be an issue for you because... You're familiar with online courses. The Academic Research Center, the ARC, a great resource. And what they're doing, they're providing remote tutoring via Zoom, via email, and phone. Tutors are ready to support students in their remote learning. To make an appointment for a tutoring session, you can either call the ARC at this number with this extension or email the ARC. That's a can, so I would use this link here. All right, Academic Resource Center. If you need to need some help and also they talk about e tutoring i'm not quite sure how many people have actually used the e tutoring for stats but it's available and it walks you through here the um, there's a link right here too as well how to log on and get with a um, an online tutor my suggestion is work with the people from the arc that would be a, a better situation now, I talk about the exams, all right? If you're brand new to Canvas, you won't see on this left-hand menu the word exam. What you will see is quizzes, all right? The exams are 
denoted by quizzes. It's right here on this left-hand menu. It doesn't say exam one or exam two. It says quizzes. If I click on this today, the 31st, it's going to tell me, hey, here's exam one, there's exam two. Exam one is not going to be available available to January 7th, next Friday, a week from today. At 11.59, is 35 questions. All right. Once you start the exam, you've got to finish it in one setting now. Chances are you're all familiar with that because you've taken online courses before. I'm giving you, I think, the first exam. If I click on this, yeah, it's locked up until the 7th and 35 questions. And I'm giving you two and a half hours, more than enough time to complete this. All right, so. All right, so let me close this up and close that up. There's your calculator. I think I've addressed everything. I can say this will be live. It's live right now at 329. So the next time you log in, like I say, the whole purpose of me doing this is to give you a running start. There's a heck of a lot of work that needs to be done. Um, preparing for Zoom, what's going on? Well, there's nothing there. I'll delete that page. All right, once again, um, someone emailed me and asked if they could ask questions, even though it's not the Friday of our office. Sure, definitely going to ask questions. In fact, um, what I do have is a discussion board here. All right, and what you do to ask a question, you just simply click on reply, and then you would type in your question here. All right, and then you would post it. All right, you would post it. And the idea of the um, discussion board, if you ask a question and I answer it, it's there for everyone else. But if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you know, I'm always available by email. So that's not going to be an issue. So the course is open. There are all the assignments for the first week. There's a T, you know, I talk about a TI 83 or 84 guide. Folks, there are literally hundreds of couple hundred videos on YouTube. Any question you may have with the TI, it'll be answered on YouTube, or you can email me. These worksheet solutions, every time I give you a homework assignment, at the end I have the answers, but what this does here is, for the first couple of them, it's pretty straightforward stuff, but as we get a little more complicated, what I do with these particular PDFs is I give you a screenshot of how the answer was derived. When I do the voiceover, you see the same thing, and I talk about it. But what I would suggest, if you want to download these and have them by your side when you take the exam, that would be great. All right, they're not just the answers. They're actually um, screenshots of me using the TI and, and how I derived the answer. Of course, my um, voiceovers do that. So these are helpful. Um, I could say I would probably, if I was taking the course, I would have downloaded these and had them because of the fact that you do see these screenshots and um, kind of shows you how the answer was derived as well as my uh, my voiceovers. So that's there. Let me minimize this. Let me go back to my home screen here. All right, there's a guy that worked. Data Brokers, it's a video on how, basically how, these companies use your information and they sell it to other companies and make a lot of money. This is how you get these crazy telemarketing calls. You're wondering, how the heck did they know my phone number? Well, people are selling your data. PowerPoints, I got all of them here. Not a bad idea to download those. This discussion board. Oh, yeah, here's the link I wanted to show you. Microsoft Office, uh, my, Master Suite Office, Microsoft Office has a free download. All right, there's a link if you don't have Office on your machine. It's free to, as long as you're a master associate student. And I'm not quite sure how they figure out that you're not a student, but there it is as a download link. So a way of watching the PowerPoints, even though there are PowerPoint viewers out there. You may want to download a copy of Office to your machine. All right, let me close this up. And there we have everything you need. Once again, I'm available by, available by email. I've gotten a few emails, but um, not that many. I wish you much success. Um, let's hope that this new year is going to be a healthy one. Um, 
basically be safe, be smart, and be well. And I'll see you um, on the other end. Uh, as the course begins Monday, but here again, it's open now. So if you want to get started, have at it because it's there. I've opened it up a couple of days early. All right. That being said, Happy New Year, and um, we'll be talking. Thank you.